Let's talk about how to improve your financial efficiency and save some serious money. Have you ever wondered how much you could save by managing your finances more effectively? What if I told you that you could save thousands of dollars each year just by making a few simple changes? Are you ready to take control of your finances and start living the life you deserve? Hey there, it's Kay Waterloo, and I'm here to help you achieve financial success like never before. In the first two sections, we will discuss the importance of creating a budget, cutting unnecessary expenses, and maximizing your income. Now, in the final section, we'll dive even deeper into the practical strategies that you can implement to make your financial goals a reality. But let's cut to the chase. Managing your finances effectively isn't just about saving money. It's about achieving financial freedom, reducing stress, and living the life you want. It's about making smart choices today so that you can build the life you dream of tomorrow. So, are you ready to take the next step towards financial success? Are you ready to learn practical tips and tricks that will help you save money and achieve your financial goals? If the answer is yes, then let's get started. Hello everyone, I'm Kay Waterloo, an efficiency expert who knows the ins and outs of how to make every aspect of your life more efficient. Today, I want to talk to you about something that's on everyone's minds, improving financial efficiency. Let's face it, we all want to save more money, make our investments work harder, and get more bang for our buck. But how do we do that? How do we manage our finances when dealing with major life changes, such as a new baby or retirement? First and foremost, it's important to realize that financial efficiency isn't just about saving money. It's about making every dollar count and putting your money to work for you. It's about creating a plan that works for you and your lifestyle and sticking to it. So, where do you start? The first step is to take a hard look at your expenses. What are you spending money on and is it necessary? Are there any areas where you can cut back? For example, do you really need that expensive cable package, or could you get by with a cheaper streaming service? Once you've identified areas where you can cut back, it's time to create a budget. This doesn't have to be complicated. In fact, the simpler the better. Start by listing your income and your essential expenses, like rent, utilities, and food, and then allocate the rest to discretionary spending. The key here is to be realistic. Don't set a budget that's so restrictive that you won't be able to stick to it. Instead, find a balance that works for you. And don't forget to build in a buffer for unexpected expenses, because let's face it, life happens. Now, let's talk about investing. If you're not already investing, you're missing out on one of the best ways to grow your money. But where do you start? The first step is to educate yourself. Read books, attend seminars, and talk to experts. And remember, investing isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. You need to find an investment strategy that works for you and your goals. And finally, let's talk about the elephant in the room, debt. No one likes debt, but sometimes it's a necessary evil. The key here is to manage your debt wisely. Make sure you're not taking on more debt than you can handle, and always make your payments on time. And if you're struggling with debt, don't be afraid to seek help. There are plenty of resources available to help you get back on track. In summary, improving financial efficiency is all about creating a plan that works for you and your lifestyle, and putting your money to work for you. It's about being realistic, educating yourself, and making every dollar count. So, what are you waiting for? Start taking control of your finances today, and watch your money grow. Listen up, my efficiency seekers. I want to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to all of you who have been part of this movement towards financial efficiency. Your support has been nothing short of incredible, and I couldn't have done it without you. But let's not rest on our laurels just yet. I want to hear from you, my viewers. What topics are you interested in learning about? What challenges are you facing in your quest for efficiency? I promise to provide you with exclusive sneak peeks into upcoming content that will help you achieve your goals faster and easier. Now, let's talk about support. If you want to be a part of this community and discover new ways to improve your financial efficiency, then you need to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content. By doing so, you not only show your support but also help others benefit from this movement. And finally, let's talk about detractors. Look, I know not everyone is on board with what I'm preaching here, and that's okay but I urge you to focus on constructive criticism rather than negativity. We're all in this together, and by working together, we can achieve great things. So, let's collaborate positively and make financial efficiency a reality for everyone. Welcome back, viewers. In the second section, we talked about the importance of financial efficiency and how it can benefit your life in so many ways. But now, it's time to take action and put those principles into practice. One of the most important things you can do to improve your financial efficiency is to set clear financial goals. Without a specific target to aim for, you'll find it hard to stay motivated and focused. Whether you're saving for a down payment on a house, paying off student loans, or building up a retirement nest egg, 
having a clear goal will give you something to work towards. But setting goals is just the first step. You also need to make a plan for achieving them. This means creating a budget, tracking your spending, and finding ways to cut back on expenses so you can save more. It's not always easy to live within your means, but it's essential if you want to achieve your financial goals. Another important aspect of financial efficiency is reducing debt. High interest debt, such as credit card balances, can quickly spiral out of control if left unchecked. That's why it's so important to pay down debt as quickly as possible. One strategy is to focus on paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first, while still making minimum payments on your other debts. This will save you money in interest charges and help you get out of debt faster. But it's not just about reducing debt, it's also about building wealth. Investing is one of the best ways to do this, but it can be intimidating if you're new to the game. The key is to start small and keep it simple. Consider investing in low-cost index funds or ETFs, which offer broad diversification and low fees. And remember, investing is a long-term game, so don't get discouraged by short-term fluctuations in the market. Of course, all of these strategies require discipline and self-control. But there are also tools and resources that can help you stay on track. For example, budgeting apps like Mint or Personal Capital can help you track your spending and savings goals. And if you're struggling with debt, you may want to consider a debt management plan or consolidation loan to help you get back on track. Ultimately, improving your financial efficiency is about taking control of your financial life. It's about setting goals, making a plan, and sticking to it. It's about reducing debt, building wealth, and creating the life you want for yourself and your family. And while it may not always be easy, the rewards are well worth the effort. So there you have it, viewers. Some simple but powerful strategies for improving your financial efficiency. Remember, it's never too late to start taking control of your financial life. With a little discipline, determination, and the right tools, you can achieve your financial goals and create the life you want. Are you tired of feeling like you're constantly spinning your wheels, never making progress towards your goals? Do you feel like you're always scrambling to keep up with bills and expenses, never able to get ahead? Well, it's time to take action and join me, Kay Waterloo, in my mission to improve efficiency in all areas of life. My courses offer practical tips and strategies to help you save time, money, and energy, and are suitable for all skill levels. Whether you're just starting out on your efficiency journey or you're a seasoned pro, there's something for everyone. But it's not just about personal benefit. By reducing your bills and contributing to the community and future generations, you can have a positive impact on the environment and your wallets. And I have some exciting partnerships coming up with great brands in our space, but you'll have to check out the description link below for more information. So what are you waiting for? Take the first step towards a more efficient and fulfilling life by signing up for my courses and joining me on this journey. Let's work together to make a difference and achieve our goals. Welcome back, folks. In this final section, I want to wrap up our discussion on improving financial efficiency and give you some practical tips to implement these concepts in your daily life. It's one thing to understand the theory, but it's another thing to put it into action. So, let's get to it. First and foremost, start by setting specific financial goals for yourself. It could be paying off debt, saving for a down payment on a house, or building up an emergency fund. Whatever it is, write it down and make a plan to achieve it. This will give you a clear direction and a sense of purpose when managing your finances. Next, automate as much as possible. Set up automatic transfers to your savings accounts and investment accounts, so you don't have to think about it every month. Use apps like Mint or Personal Capital to track your expenses and income automatically. This will save you time and mental energy, and it will help you stay on track towards your goals. Another tip is to focus on the big picture. Don't get bogged down in the details of every single transaction or expense. Instead, focus on your overall spending and saving patterns. This will give you a better perspective on where you can cut back and where you can invest more. One of my favorite strategies for improving financial efficiency is to pay yourself first. This means that as soon as you receive your paycheck, you set aside a portion of it towards your savings and investment goals before paying any bills or expenses. This ensures that you prioritize your financial goals and don't end up spending all your money on unnecessary things. Lastly, don't forget to review your finances regularly. Set aside time each month to review your expenses and income and make adjustments as necessary. This will help you stay on top of your finances and make sure you're on track towards your goals. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Kay Waterloo, these tips are easier said than done. And you're right. Improving financial efficiency takes discipline and commitment, just like any other habit. But remember, the benefits are worth it. By taking control of your finances and making them work for you, you'll have more freedom and peace of mind in the long run. So, there you have it, folks. My top tips for improving financial efficiency. I hope you found this series helpful and informative. Remember, it's never too late to start taking control of your finances. 
With a little bit of effort and discipline, you can achieve your financial goals and live the life you want. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. My dear viewers, it has been an honor sharing my expertise with you and helping you improve your efficiency, time management, and financial savings. I hope my courses have provided you with valuable insights and strategies to help you achieve your goals. By joining my mission to reduce bills and contribute to the community and future generations, you can make a positive impact on the environment and your wallets. As I mentioned earlier, I have some exciting future partnerships with some great brands that deal in our space of increasing your efficiency, so be sure to check the description link below for more information. But my mission doesn't stop here. I urge you to check out my other videos for more money-saving solutions and be part of a smart community. Together, we can make a difference and create a better future. Thank you for your support, and don't forget to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content to help spread the word. Remember, positive collaboration is key, so let's focus on constructive criticism rather than negativity. Stay efficient, stay positive, and stay awesome.